Okay, I'm just about to put my sensors in for uh, this year or this winter's uh, monitoring. I'm going to do two singles, uh, nine sensors on the top of the bars, a sensor above a slatted rack and a sensor below the slatted rack. And I'll do the same for the other one, but the other one doesn't have a slatted rack, so I just want to measure the difference between, uh, I guess, a single with a slotted rack and then without just to see what impact it has so basically so what I've done here is I've laid out the sensors and you'll notice I've marked uh, positions on them and uh, F is front B is back M is mid I'm putting a humidity sensor in the middle uh, those pieces over there uh, the one with the blue elastic so that one there I'm gonna stick through the front entrance and it'll sit right above the uh, the screen bottom board in the center of the uh, the bottom board uh, center of the frames uh, but underneath the frames so that'll be that and then the other one there uh, I'll actually put that in the crawl space just to, to get a measurement on the crawl space temperature over the winter so in a nutshell uh, that's that that's for the one so I'm gonna be doing this colony here and the one at the end. So the other thing I'll measure too is the uh, what the impact of being on a sidewall versus a center colony. So there are the sensors. They're all placed and ready to go. Uh, cluster looks pretty good. Uh, they're actually wall to wall. Uh, they were out of cluster and they pretty much clustered when I took the cover off. So I'll just put it back in uh, right now. Uh, you can see I use the pair of vice grips to pull the thing out and there's a few bees behind there it's starting to get cold so it's only about five six degrees out uh, we're gonna get a bit of Sun maybe a high of seven Celsius so it's not the last time I get to do this thanks here's the other cluster another really nice box uh, full of bees uh, it makes me really happy just move over here a bit so you can see the bees on this side here are consuming the fondant already so uh, if it keeps them busy keeps them happy it's fine uh, but uh, it's more of a I don't know it's 2 kg about of, uh, of fondant so it's not really for survival mode this colony is actually really really heavy I'll be back so another quick peek again the sensors are about uh, centered as side to side front to back uh, it's good so I'll be closing this up and I'm putting another sensor above a slatted rack and through the entrance after this cheers okay so I'm all done uh, I'll probably fix the roof there. I have a bunch of styrofoam just stacked on top uh, mostly so the wind doesn't take it and it's just there so easier to store it there than in the shed uh, and I guess the last thing on the monitoring so this middle colony the double here has uh, had a bit of space on top uh, below its inner cover or the main cover so for those who know the brood miners I have a sub hub set up just below the lid so it should keep it from freezing and the battery should last a lot longer uh, and it's in the center so it gets a good signal on all the bluetooth devices so that's where i put the sub hub this year 